Welcome back to another shorts video. Today, one of the six features that was announced back in, I think it was August this year, uh, is rolling out on shorts. I found it on my iPhone. I haven't checked to see if it's available. I don't think it is yet on Android, but I am seeing on my iPhone. And that is the Q&A card that they uh, talked about as adding extra cards and features to put onto your shorts. So I'm gonna show you how to use the Q&A card. First thing you wanna do is go into the YouTube app, of course. And uh, before you go into shorts, to get there with the new layout, you hit the plus button, and then you slide it back and forth like that. You wanna pick short. Here you can also do your posts, your lives, and upload videos. But we want the shorts, of course. First thing I'm gonna need is an actual something that's a short. So I'm gonna do a fake short here. So let me say, I'm recording a short. I'm recording a short. I am recording a short. So we've got something recorded. And so you do all your recording things here on the app. And then what you wanna do is, is click the check button to get into the next section where you can add all the things like um, additional sounds. And you can see it's playing back already. I'm going to uh, mute that as much as possible. You can add your um, overlay text, your voiceovers, your timelines, add some additional filters. But you can see this last option is Q&A. So we're going to click Q&A. And you can see it pops up a little card. You can see it says ask a question. So what will happen is you can put in a question. When they tap on that to answer the question, it actually becomes a comment. So this is a really good way to get people to comment on your shorts. Um, so make it a thoughtful question that will actually encourage engagement, encourage an answer directly in relation to maybe something that you said or something you're presenting or getting their thoughts on something that might be controversial that you're talking about in your short. So you can put something here about asking a question. I'm gonna just type something in randomly real quick. Now you can see down the bottom here, we've got these colored dots. You can pick any of those actually interesting looking colors. For example, that's like a mustard, there's a blue, a purple, a more of a purpley maroon, an orange. You can go white, you get white, um, white with black writing, black with white writing, and then sort of like a see-through type one. I'm gonna go with this one just as an example. So is this a short? I'm gonna click done. And then I'm going to place it sort of in the short where it's not going to get in the way and block maybe some extra text that I'm putting in or cover my face, different things. So I'm going to put it at the top. Now, the one thing to notice here is if you go in the timeline, there's no options there. So this actually card stays up for the entire short. So something to be mindful of. And then, of course, we could go and, uh, and go through to the up upload stage where we can publish it, where we can pick, pick our pick our frame for our thumbnail, all that sort of thing, give it a title, all the usual short stuff. So let me show you what happens when it's published and someone clicks on that card. So what I'm gonna do is upload that really quick, unlist it of course, and we'll let that roll upload and then we'll cut to where I'm going to show you how that works okay it looks like it's uploaded this is the test one here so we're just going to go into it here and you can see it's playing now if I tap on answer it pops you straight into the comment the actual short will play in the background and I can type in something that would be making it a public comment is this a short yes it is and then I'll pop that in and right there, you can see that it is now a comment on that very short. So it's a good way to drive um, engagement in the, in terms of comments on your shorts. Pretty cool thing. Pretty cool thing indeed. So you can direct the discussion in your comments without having to give a verbal cue, although you could give an additional verbal cue if you so wish. So let me know if that is something you might use in regards to shorts, will you add the Q&A card to a future short. Are you gonna try it out or are you giving it a hard pass? Let me know in the comments below. If this was a short, I'd put up a card, but it's not a short. So make sure you just leave a comment. And if you wanna see some of the other shorts 
uh, tutorials that we've done before. Check out this whole playlist right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm taking you to a playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Doug, and I'll catch you later.